I like that that explains it. Hippo Christians. Hippo Christians because that's that they that that's hypocritical. They claim to love one another but hate one another. Now let's deal with this stuff. Let's clean the lot to hit out the world if we can. And let's let's clean the lot to hit the other the world if we can. And then we have to get to the source which this one of the sources of it is Christianity, Catholicism, religion. It's the source of all hate and pride. And it's got to be getting rid of it, dealt with. And the way that they call Jesus. Jesus, when this real name is Yeshua HaMashiach, and they depict them white, he's not really white, he's the real color is he's black. For hypocrites, they just want a God that they can relate to. They're Relationship was not with the true Messiah, but one of their own making. You know, I hear the boy out when she says, We cannot call our Messiah any name we like. And she says, she's got this, she's got this thing for her. She'd pull a name by the path like Francis. How can you call him Tyrone Christ? How can you call him Tyrone Christ? Can you call him Shukri the Christ? Can you call him Jatha Christ? Obviously, not so. You'd have to call him by his real name. So, what do you have to call him by his real name? How was he going to respond to you calling him a name that's not his name? And the hypocrites, they act like they're the victims. That victim mentality, which... They act like one, the poor, but don't pick them. You know, this victim mentality they have. Their religion is not with the Most High. Their relationship is not with the Most High. That's what they mean. Their relationship is not with the Most High. Because you know why? It just doesn't fit in with anything their pastor told them. But they've never done the research. They don't know because they've never ever done the research. But instead they're getting mad and upset with me. A washman the Dubaya. Why don't you do the research before you get mad and upset with us? 
like I said, everybody is uh, familiar with that term, Alleluia, because it simply means praise be Yah. But that's his real name, Yah. It is God or Jehovah or, or Lord. Lord. It's not none of those things. And so, let's see, you know, you have different thoughts that just kind of roll in your mind and you, you know something just doesn't make sense. Like when the heathen Roman Catholic Church decided that they would change this image and change his name. And that's why the hypocrisians So uh, they've never ever done the research. Their relationship is not with the most high. It's just they have their religion and their relationship was with the religion. It's with that statue of Christ. It's with the picture of Christ. The relationship is with the name of Christ. But their relationship is with their pastor. And their relationship is with their church, with their Bibles, with their religion. The Most High says that that. He doesn't like to be called by those names no more. So their relationship is with the God of their own making. And this is why a strong delusion was sent upon them. Uh, if you read, if you read Second Thessalonians, Chapter 2, verse 11, all the way to 13, says, And so uh, a strong delusion was sent unto them that they would believe a lie and be damned, because they have not the love for the truth. They only rejoice in their unrighteousness. So that strong delusion was sent unto them because they don't love the truth. They don't have a real love for the truth. They prefer their own version of the Messiah, their own version of the Most High. I think that shows you why Christianity is the hateful religion they ha they are. All religions are full of hate, not just Christianity, but all religions are the most hateful of all. They're full of hate and pride. Hippocrisians, and that's not just Christians, but there is all religion. They're all the same. Christianity, Catholicism, whatever the religion is, they're all the same. This is why I, I, I hate religion with such a passion. You know some I'm unapologetic. I won't apologize. 